In this key concept video, I'm going to be looking at the chi-squared test of independence. Now I have chi-squared written here as CHI, it also is written as this as well. Okay, so this is a frequently occurring type of question on IBMR studies exams. I highly recommend watching this video and then going and practicing some of these questions. Now plenty to cover in this video, we'll be looking at defining the null hypothesis, we'll be looking at calculating the chi-squared value and the p-value, and then determining whether the null hypothesis should be rejected or not. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to use this particular data set here as an example. In this uh, data set here, we have gender, so males and females, and their preferred mobile operating system. So iOS, the one that is on iPhones, Android, and other. So other might be uh, Windows phones or Nokia phones, for example. And we see that 100 people were surveyed, a total of 52 males and 48 females. And you can see here that the clear winner was uh, iOS. But what this particular test, the chi-squared test, is testing is whether there is a relationship between the gender and the preferred mobile operating system. So for example, do all males like Android phones? Or do all females like iOS? Is there a relationship between gender and preferred operating system? And that's just for this example. In other example, is there a relationship between one variable and the other variable? That's what this is testing. Is there a relationship between the two? Now, in order to test it, we need to define what is called the null hypothesis, which we denote as H0. And the null hypothesis is always that the two variables are independent. So in this case here, gender is independent of preferred operating system. The null hypothesis is always that the two variables are independent. In fact, you could almost just every single time for the null hypothesis just simply write the two variables are independent of each other. However, it's important to understand it, to actually understand what we're doing when we go ahead and run the test of independence. Okay, so I've defined the null hypothesis. Next step is to go ahead and find, we're going to look for two key values here. We're looking for the chi-squared value and we're looking for the p-value. And we're going to use that graphics calculator for both of those in one go. Okay, so the process for that, we open our calculator up, we go to a blank scratch pad, and we set up a matrix. To do that, we go menu, number seven, matrix and vector, number one, create, number one again, matrix. Now we need to define the dimensions of the matrix, how many rows and how many columns. We don't take into consideration the total rows and columns, it's just the data. So in this case here, we have two rows, gender, three columns, operating systems. So two rows, three columns. So we have our matrix, we now go ahead and enter our data in. So in this case here, 34, 13, five, skip down, 28, 19, one. Okay, we have entered the data in. We now need to go and save the matrix as a letter. You may be thinking why, but it makes sense in a later step. So to do that, see how this store uh, button here, or the store writing above the var button. So we store it, we go control, store. And I like to store my matrices as letter A for no real reason, just that I remember it. Hit enter. So my matrix now remembers this matrix as letter A. So if I can press A and enter, it comes back up again. Now let's go ahead and do the stat calculation. Menu, number six, statistics, number seven, stat tests, and we're looking for this one near the bottom, number eight, chi-squared uh, chi two-way test. It asks for which matrix we're going to test it against, and this is where that letter A comes in. Press OK, and here are some good pieces of information. Our chi-squared value is 4.22. And our p-value is 0.121. Okay, these are the two important pieces of information. We can then use this to, do, to determine 
whether we are going to reject this null hypothesis or not, the fact that the two variables are independent. Now there are two ways to do this, one's using the chi-squared, one's using the p-value. Usually in the question we are told something like a chi-squared test was performed at a 5% significance level. It's usually the, always the one that we see. And then sometimes, about a quarter of the time, a critical value is provided. Critical value equals something, but not every time. Now, if we don't have the critical value, we can just use the p-value. So our p-value is 0 0.121. And if it is, so these are the rules here that you're going to have to remember. I recommend jotting them down five times or so. If the p-value is less than 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is greater than 0.05, which is the case for our scenario, we do not reject it. So our answer would be we're not rejecting the statement that the two variables are independent. Now, if the critical value is provided, we can also compare that against the chi-squared value, which... I'm not too sure what the value is considering, it only takes one step to find this anyway, but if the critical value is provided and we found the chi-squared value, we can say, well, if the chi-squared value is greater than the critical value, we reject it. If the chi-squared value is less than the critical value, we do not reject it. Okay, so the answer will be whether we're rejecting or not rejecting the null hypothesis. And keep in mind, the null hypothesis is just the statement that says that in this case, gender an operating system are independent. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female, that won't influence your preferred operating system. Okay, plenty to take in there. I jammed in about a term's worth of work there into six minutes. I highly recommend now going and practicing some of these questions.